Hi my Sagittarius, nice to see you, although it's not in life, but I'm sorry, I've tried my best and I've succeeded, thanks to other people that have let me <coughs> use their wifi, I'm still not in the air, so I can't go live. I have to, and yesterday I did the tarot marathon uh, on another location and we collected I we I collected and we collected 90 euros thank you to everybody that has donated towards let marina live the channel will still remain open the paying channel i'll make a special uh, video on that tomorrow i hope to have my own internet tomorrow and then if you would like to benefit from the readings then take your chance it's 15 euros for a nine card reading and it's extensive but not with clarification cards or oracle cards okay um, and that is about 15 to 20 minutes reading um, it all depends how clear the reading is and there will be also five cards that's four oracle cards that's the present the past and the past present and future with a clarification card and a oracle card it all depends whether it's a love reading or a general reading and there's only just one euro um, for one card and if you would like to donate and receive one of these readings then let the administrator the municipal officer know and they will get back to me so leave your name and address and how much you have donated send a copy of uh, your screen of payment and um, if you are living in Holland you can do it with a ticky as well so make sure you send a print screen and you I will get back to you and I will make a video and send it on to you or an email um, uh, reading so set let the when you send the email to the officer uh, municipal officer then state whether you want an email reading or a video reading the video reading uh, leave your email address as well because if it's a video reading then I will do a video reading on YouTube and I will send you the link so only you can see um, the video or I might just uh, do a, um, a, a, a public video but I won't mention any names and um, I, I'll give you a code so you own well I will do the readings under code so let me see what is quicker and uh, I think that is the easiest way then we don't have links and I can't get through and I can't read it I think that is the best idea so if you want to profit from a nine card reading an extensive reading then donate 15 euros or more and I will get back to you ASAP but leave your name and your email so I will send you the code that you know that is your reading I will say this is the reading for 001 or 002 or 003 you the first come first serve service okay and then you can watch your own reading let me know as well whether it's a romance reading or a general reading or a specific questions okay here we go this is your reading for the 19th to the 25th of October and welcome if you're new and please subscribe and hit the bell and like and when you hit the bell hit it on all and reset your settings or check your settings in YouTube and your mobile device if you don't know how then look under news and updates and that's where you can find the video the announcement of the special offer as well take care and enjoy the reading I love you by the way okay Seji um, and I think your powerful stuff and your readings have been improving of late so I hope they resonate with you and remember if they don't resonate with you then have a look at the moon sign or your rising sign you open up with the two of Pentacles are you trying to balance your mind 
with your body or are you trying to balance your finances or your home life home life and your work life or your emotions your light side and your dark side it seems that they are going a bit skew with at the moment perhaps you might not be in balance and you might find it pretty hard you could also be trying to balance your finances now you have the strength card for your second card and the clarification card on the two of pentacles you are in your strength you're as strong as a lion or as wise as a lion and as strong as a bear these two animals stand with both four feet on the ground they are in balance so again you've got two here the two animals and your patience is going to pay off and that is what's keeping you in your strength and in balance there are things I'm getting this this moon is very strong and we do have two moons this month we had one on the first and the other one is coming next week but you might already feel the energy of the moon we are going into Scorpio a Sagittarius and it's only about two months to Christmas and ooh, I'm getting excited and time is flying by and I hope the time the balance will be back no more Kovic so stay in your strength and don't let any of these delays of Kovic make you mad and bring you out of balance you are stronger than you think you might even be meeting a Leo Ooh, or a Leo might be helping you because you've also got the six of pentacles and we've got the white buffalo so luck is on your side if you are less fortunate they might be helping you financially or by giving you a helping hand or a listening ear if you are better off you might be the one that is giving to the less fortunate a helping hand a gift of money or a, a listening ear you could also be meeting uh, um, a Scorpio as the death card represents Scorpio there is an ending to a phase and a new beginning you're no longer the caterpillar and you are becoming a butterfly you will be spreading your wings if not come on spread your wings and go with the wind look at the dark side and now the light is coming back round so these moons might have uh, a very important in effect uh, on you especially around the cusp of Libra Scorpio okay this is what I'm feeling extra that will bring you out of balance uh, perhaps you are out of balance now and by the cusp on the 21st you will be in balance you will be brought back into balance perhaps you feel more uh, into um, much much better in your skin by the 21st to 22nd Scorpio is very is a water sign so you might be highly sensitive around the full moon um, or between now and the cusp on the 21st and the 21st will be on um, uh, on Wednesday so that is midweek and that is what um, this is Wednesday so uh, on Wednesday there could be an ending of something and a new beginning uh, in the reading it's it's that's what it's saying but also because of this change so you've got two changes an ending and a new beginning again an ending of Libra and a new beginning into Scorpio so Wednesday could be a uh, uh, important day for you then you have the five of wands the five of wands for a lot of readers means quarrels or disagreements but quarrels will not last they're only uh, little uh, dis disputes or arguments I wouldn't even call them arguments I would call them disagreements but the five of wands if you go to back to the traditional deck you see young men joisting with the joysticks joysticks they're learning to be knights 
they're only young and they're only playing it's not a real fight so there could be competition as well around you perhaps you might be starting something new and there is competition around this new beginning this could be a new job this could be uh, you're in competition for a promotion you could be in competition um, in Libra and Scorpio you could be in that time it might be very very stressful because there's competition around you because you're actually going for what you want because you're Sagittarius you're a fire sign so you go for what you want take it at a step at a time know your boundaries okay don't let yourself be brought out of your balance okay stand strong like the strength card okay so if you are in a judicial situation that's the other side of the story then um, justice will be done as you've got the justice card <coughs> excuse me I also feel you want to say something to somebody uh, to s tell the truth um, because uh, I cough because that's the throat chakra and that's Archangel Michael and we've got the Archangel Michael card here so you might want to say something to somebody tell the truth don't boss me about I am I'll do it I'll do it but this is what I'm hearing I'll do it I'll do it but it has to be at the right time balance okay okay don't procrastinate show them that you are busy with whatever you're doing to get to the right result okay you need things to balance out I also see somebody um, on a calculator or working out a square roots or something like this we've got the sort of like odd square roots here um, yes you want to follow the right path that is also what I'm seeing and you don't want things to be left in the dark or unknown you want the light on the path so you know that you are on the right path Wow and we've got the Queen of Wands here and that is Leo this could also be you be Sagittarius usually the page but don't exclude um, Sagittarius or Aries you are in your power look at that at the beginning and at the end of the week that's the weekend <coughs> and again uh, something is telling me you want to say something you want to bring out the truth or bring out the analytic analytics of something analyzation okay something to do with figures okay you have uh, the princess of pentacles something that is tangible and durable and for long term you um, you might be meeting a Virgo Scorp uh, Virgo Capricorn or a Taurus you might want to tell the truth towards a Taurus or a Libra or a Scorpio or a Leo now we've got Virgo here as well so perhaps the last four months you've been holding your tongue or working at something and you need to say your piece you somebody is perhaps um, ordering you about that's what I'm seeing and I'm also seeing somebody pointing get on with it like this get on with it I want this you know that is what I'm seeing somebody doing somebody's been bullying you or bossing you so don't let anybody boss you or bully bully you okay you want the truth you want to be careful you want to be secure so that something will last and will perpetuate uh, returns okay um, that's what I'm also seeing and there's somebody on a calculator is like making more money investments okay sorry sometimes it like uh, Virgo um, I think the reading for Virgo was so long it took a life of its own anyway you have the ten of cups reward and you I see you've got the ten of cups here as well I did not see them sort them out and the ten is an ending a double ending might be coming in happy families reunion with family and friends 
you might not have been able to see family or friends because you've been too busy working on this plan calculating and this that and the other it could be about an inheritance although this is not pentacles it could be because there is a reunion with family and friends and I see somebody calculating so to me it could be uh, an inheritance uh, meetings a reunion could be a meetings discussions because we've got the five of wands here uh, a dispute um, disagreements so there could be a disagreement within the family or friend circle and but there will be meetings and gatherings to talk about it and there will be celebrations because you've got the ten of cups so don't worry too much um, there could be an extension of the family there could be a wedding in the family or friends circle and you couldn't get married and so you've been weighing things off how are we going to do this uh, we're not allowed to have more than a certain amount of people but you will work it out you might be getting married you might be getting a pet pet you might find out you're pregnant that the family is being extended or you might have been working out because this can also mean moving home you might have bought the home because you're extending the family you might be expanding the home okay I see expansion and perhaps now you finally have the money because of the inheritance or uh, the race uh, or promotion from work this could be a promotion at work the competition that I was on about okay now we've got the shield you need to defend yourself yes because we've got the justice card there and you want the truth to come out like I said and you want things to be fair and uh, in balance then we have the pale time to get out of a situation yes you need to get out of this strife situation uh, or this this uh, this situation of uh, being less fortunate yes you have to get the balance back okay then we have the claw be careful do not take risks no don't take risks take your time make sure that you've got you've dotted your dotted your eyes and crossed your teeth and watch the details and the small print so that you don't have to go to court and don't have to get judicial okay the action card it's a red card so it's an action card boundaries wall I just mentioned boundaries I believe somewhere along the line line in the sand okay make a line in the sand you can also do this at home you've got the sword the sword of justice so you've got the justice card there as well and boundaries Archangel Michael hands you his sword it is time to set an energetic boundary by symbolically drawing a line in the sand but you can do this on the table as well to for yourself so you can visualize it to hear and no further that's what I'm hearing somebody is saying and I, I said somebody's doing this to hear and no further they are with you it is working over time the sword is presented symbolically to you by Archangel Michael as a call for definite definitive action the time has come for you to set distinctive boundaries in a particular area of your life a boundary is a guide limit to or rule that you create that identifies your expectations of acceptable safe and reasonable behavior from others and I I didn't read this honestly I promise you with the hand on my heart I promise you with the hand on my heart that I did not sort out the cards and I was talking about boundaries not being forced by somebody stand up for yourself get the balance back okay so I've lost track now let's get back to track okay a boundary is a guide limit or rule that you create that identifies your expectations and acceptable and safe and reasonable behavior from others this 
line prevents people from infringing your time, resources and generosity. And I also mentioned get being used or abused. Archangel Michael understands how difficult it is for you to set up such boundaries, especially when it involves people that you love and hold to get dear to your heart, family and friends or partners. However, he has called you to do this for your own health and self-preservation. The line is a marker of tolerance and acceptability, signifying a healthy respect for one's self energetically, your stance will be felt by those involved. Healthy boundaries are the most precious gifts as they effectively force a recognition of behavior and assist people to respect you as an in int to grail and valued part of their life. Archangel Michael will continually send you strength to maintain the energetic statement. Wow, this is mind blowing. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this reading, Saji, and remember, love yourself first, take care of yourself first before you can take care of an other. Don't get out of balance. Don't get a burnout. Don't let somebody push your buttons. Okay? That is what I'm also hearing. And push your buttons. This finger, it keeps on seeing this finger. Okay, set your boundaries. And you are stronger than you think you are. Walk away from arguments, disputes. Say, talk to the hand. I'll talk to you when you've calmed down. Bye bye. And then return when things have calmed down. When they are calm and when they can talk and are prepared to talk. Because you can't change anybody's mind until they are open to accept your boundaries and hear your point of view. Good luck and take care. Bye bye. Please like and share.